Hey guys, today's mobility challenge we're talking about the hip flexors. So, uh, very common in terms of people saying stretch your hip flexors. There is definitely an importance of strengthening hip flexors. Uh, we'll talk about that another time. Today's focus is on the mobility of these things. So when we sit all day, when we're in this sitting position, these hip flexors can tighten up. And when they get tight, they pull us into overextension at the back if we don't have the mobility to stay nice and straight through there. So hip flexors can get tight. That causes a lot of lower back problems. Uh, that just affects posture. Uh, and from a performance standpoint, it doesn't allow us to be as explosive if we can't fully open those hips up. If we're doing lifting, running, jumping, those things, it's important to have good mobility through here. And especially if we're spending any time sitting, this is one that we're gonna wanna get to. So, today's challenge. Kneeling in this position, the first minute is going to be just a static hip flexor hold. Now, before I go into this stretch, I wanna show how people commonly perform this incorrectly. So they'll just lean forward, they arch their lower back here, and they'll do something like this, which doesn't get a lot of stretch on those hips. You want to think about really squeeze this glute hard. So squeeze that glute, and what that's going to do is tuck those hips under and allow this hip to be fully stretched. So when I'm doing this correctly, you saw how far I can get before. If I'm really squeezing hard here and keeping this, this is about where I start to feel the stretch. And if I were to go further, it would be coming from me doing this and arching my lower back. So keep that glute squeeze, keep those hips tucked under, and then you're gonna push the hips forward. I'm just gonna hold static for a minute here, so you should feel a nice stretch through here. So first minute is going to be just holding this way. Second minute, gonna grab hand outside the thigh here and rotate away. So with all these doing the same thing, keeping that glute squeezed, holding for a minute there, and then third variation with one arm up, reaching and tipping to the side here. So keeping the glute squeezed, big reach towards the ceiling. This is gonna hit some of those higher muscles, the hip flexor, especially up into our psoas there. Another area that commonly gets tight. So it'll end up being three minutes per side. You can either knock these out three in a row. So do a minute static, minute rotation, minute with the reach, or you can do alternating right, left, right, left, right, left for that. However you choose, but it'll end up being three minutes per side, six minutes total of work today, opening those hip flexors up. Your hip flexors will thank you if you have been sitting more. So try these out. Let us know if you guys have any questions. We'll talk to you soon.